Hi there! Today, we will learn about direct and indirect speech. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to use indirect reporting orally and in writing and recognize the changes that take place in direct and indirect speech. When describing or reporting what someone said, we either repeat the person's exact words or we use our own words. These are known as direct and indirect speech. A direct speech repeats the exact words of another speaker or person. When writing a direct speech, the exact words of the speaker are put in quotation marks like this. Now, let's take some examples. 1. I have a dream, said Martin Luther King Jr. 2. I will be back by 2 p.m., Mrs. Ade said. In these examples, the highlighted words are examples of direct speeches because the exact words of the speakers are inserted within quotation marks. Now, let's learn about indirect speech. An indirect speech, also called a reported speech, is a sentence where the exact words of the speaker are modified before being reported. Some examples are, Mrs. Ade says she will be back by 2 p.m. She said she had eaten her food. Now, let's see some ways we can recognize the changes that take place in direct and indirect speech. Indirect speech, written with quotation marks, are used to show the speaker's exact words. 1. Changing time expressions Sometimes, it's necessary to change the time expressions, especially when you are speaking about the past and the time reference no longer applies. For example, direct speech I'm not going to school tomorrow. Indirect speech She said she will not go to school the following day. 2. Questions When you report a question, you need to change the interrogative form into an affirmative sentence. There are two types of questions that we can report. Questions that have a yes or no response and questions that begin with a question word like what, where, who, etc. When we report a yes or no question, we use if. For example, direct speech, do they live here? Indirect speech, he asked me if they lived here. 3. Reporting orders and requests. When you give someone an order, you use just the verb without a subject. And to report an order, we use tell, an infinitive of the verb. An example is, Direct speech, call me back later. Indirect speech, you told me to call you back later. When making a request, you normally use words like can, could, or will to report a request. We use the verb to ask and the infinitive form of the verb. For example, direct speech. Will you have a seat? Indirect speech, he asked me to have a seat. We have come to the end of the lesson. Today, we have learned about direct and indirect speeches. Direct speech makes use of quotation marks without a change in the tense forms, while indirect speech is reported without quotation marks but a change in tense forms is necessary. Now, it's assessment time.